the sounds we hear in air arrive at our ears by vibrating air particles. In fact, all sounds start from something vibrating. For example, look at this slow motion video of the loudspeaker playing a single frequency. And slowed down we can see that the cone moves up and down and this vibrates the air directly above it. Everything has a frequency that it likes to vibrate at. This is known as its resonance. If you look up videos of bridges and resonance, you'll see lots of bendy bridges that have been driven at their resonance and go through extreme modes of vibration. We can demonstrate that here where we can show the patterns created on a surface that's vibrating at its resonance. Here I've got a piece of large diameter pipe and I've turned it into a drum. I've placed it on top of our loudspeaker and we're going to send sound through the membrane of the drum to see what patterns we can make as we play sound at different frequencies. We'll be able to see the vibrations by putting small colourful granules on the surface. We'll start at a low frequency and work our way up. We can already see that some parts of the surface are vibrating and some parts aren't. Let's see how these patterns change as we change the frequency. As we sweep through different frequencies, we notice that different regions of the surface vibrate. We know this because the pink stuff gathers up in regions where there is no vibration. These are called nodes. And where there is vibration, antinodes, the pink granules start dancing around. One of the best known achievements for a mathematician named Ernst Kladny was showing the various modes of vibration for a surface. These patterns are now known as Kladny figures. We still use this kind of analysis to design instruments and in fact the volume of air in a room can demonstrate these sort of modal patterns too. We can predict the resonance of a room using its dimensions and then use this knowledge to design the room for its purpose.